Welcome to another video of our trips around Ireland. We are starting up in the north near Ballymena. We will be traveling the North Antrim coast down the east coast to County Louth in the Irish Republic. As always, there will be links in the description. Starting here at the Galgore Manor Hotel and Spa right beside the Braid River, one of the north's best hotels, where you can find everything from a hot tub right beside the river to the most comfortable beds with great food and great service. Now you will need a car, but some places you can visit by bus and escorted tours. First up after leaving Galgore Manor is the Giant's Causeway on the North Antrim coast. There are a number of other attractions, including Dunluce Castle and the Carrick, a reed rope bridge. If you are driving, you will need to book online to visit the Giant's Causeway. It is a 15 minute walk from the car park and there is a large visitor center with a restaurant inside. Carica Reed Rope Bridge may be closed if it becomes windy. It's a scary drop. Then we take you down to the Glenarm and Carn Law villages on the Antrim coast, where you can stay in the Londonderry Arms and you can visit the castle, the home of the McDonnell family. The gardens are beautiful and there is a tea room, walled garden and tours of the castle. In July, they have a strongman festival with helicopter rides and lots of other things going on. Glen Arm and Carnlaw villages on the Antrim Coast Road are only a short distance apart. Moving on down to Belfast, this is the City Hall and the Game of Thrones filmed in the shipyard where the Titanic exhibition is built. It is very interactive and as you can see, walking around with lots of different features to get your attention on different floors. There is a lot of salvaged items from the ship which sank in 1912 on its maiden voyage when the ship hit a huge iceberg in the North Atlantic on the way to New York from Southampton. This is a look at the engine room going up through the decks. Of course, Belfast is synonymous with the religious side of things and that's still the case today. After 800 years, Belfast City Hall, built in 1907 at a cost of 100,000 sterling. They also get up to other things in Belfast that you maybe wouldn't want to be doing, but here they are out partying in Robinson's on Great Victoria Street. We are sure you would enjoy that. It's a party city and always has been. We then take you down through the county down coast and one of the great attractions if you're a walker or a hiker is the Silent Valley Reservoir in the Mourn Mountains, which feeds Belfast's water supply. You can cross to Portaferry on the Ards Peninsula from Strangford Village and you can stay in the Portaferry Hotel right by the ferry. We highly recommend. You can also take the ferry back across from Portaferry to Strangford and travel down to Newry on the border. With the Republic of Ireland, the Translink bus station is just beside it, and across the canal is the Canal Court Hotel. Great venue, great place to stay again with great service. We will have links in the description. We then travel on down the M1 motorway over the border into the beautiful village of Carlingford with its ancient King John's Castle right in the harbor. This is a look. Down at the jetty with King John's Castle on the right hand side. This is also the burial ground just outside Carlingford town of the President of United States, Joe Biden. His ancestors are buried around 1700s. Carlingford is a quaint little town. Lots of water sports here, small pubs, quirky shops, and restaurants, and you're looking straight across to County Down in the north. We will finish off this little video here, but the next one will be around Dublin. We'll take you over the Boyne Valley Bridge, one of the most famous places in Ireland where the Battle of the Boyne, dating to 1690, was fought It has shaped Irish politics ever since, setting the scene for Ireland's future for centuries to come. Thank you in advance. Please join us in the next one.